please welcome the president of Atomic, Wolfgang Meyerhofer and the global race manager Alpine, Christian Höflener. Es darf auch applaudiert werden. Number one is Wolfgang. Christian, just come to the middle a little bit. Wolfgang, I'm going to start with you. Uh, just give us a little bit the bigger picture. We start in a new winter season. What to expect from the brand Atomic in the upcoming season? Um, f first, uh, welcome here in Altermarkt. Uh, welcome to Atomic and welcome to skiing. This is what we are. And if you kind of watch back here and you see the different skis, it's pretty nicely uh, decorated with all the different products, disciplines, so it's pretty versatile here. Um, and the, the place as such here, the Atomic Pro Center, is pretty unique too. Uh, we have on the one side, uh, just behind us here, a huge ski production. That is the biggest ski production in the world, the highest quality ski production, most innovative ski production, and most sustainable ski production. So we are living our dream here. We are producing the skis and we are selling them. That we sell them, um, they have, we need products, we need athletes, we need sports marketing. And uh, therefore we are really proud, every year actually, but this time uh, even more to have you physically here, uh, to meet our athletes, to connect to our athletes. Um, and we have uh, really like uh, the, the Rockets there, all the big names there, but also uh, others, upcomers and uh, across all disciplines. So thank you for coming once more. We're stoked to have you here. And uh, yeah, let's have a good uh, starting into the season. And uh, I wish, yeah, maybe up front, I wish all our athletes an uh, injury-free uh, season. Uh, a lot of podiums, a lot of wins, and uh, yeah, this is what we are going for this, this year. Wolfgang, you kind of handed over a keyword to me, yes. because there are so many talks and so many discussions about skiing, about winter sports in general at the moment. So what's your uh, point of view if you look at skiing by now um, yeah. in general? Um, we have a vision, actually. We had a, a, a big workshop, a bottom-up workshop with all our employees, um, and uh, we developed together a vision, and that's called We Shape the Future of Skiing. Um, we have a big role here. We are the biggest ski brand in the world. We are number one. Um, and, uh, and that in actually close to all disciplines. Um, and we want to do that. We want to keep on going, uh, living our dream, um, skiing ourselves as we are all skiers. Um, and, and we need to have that going forward. To, to, to do that, we need to have snow, of course. And uh, we are partnering up, or we partnered up with PAU, Protect Our Winter uh, organization, which is... It's good. And, uh, and then, of course, we are um, sustainable we, in all our activities, all what we do. If we develop a new product, for example, uh, we life cycle all the new products. The skis for upcoming season, touring skis, the season after the alpine skis, we, we, re we reduce the carbon fr footprint per pro product significantly. Um, as an average, 20 to 30 percent lower carbon footprint for the product or per product means we're taking care about that we take it really serious and I want to thank you in, in, in on that stage or on that point all, all our employees um, to do that and they're living this um, so we are taking care about uh, all we can influence and operate so we take that really serious the other thing is yes it's uh, all about skiing Sultan is coming other races are coming um, um, proactive um, mentioned here if that is a week later or two weeks later um, maybe it's a bit easier uh, less mm, less like curiosity or, or less nervous on that spot but uh, as such I think um, everybody's keen to go out there to ski get the feeling uh, and the experience on the mountain and we hope that we can do that uh, as long as possible Thank you so much for that. And uh, Christian, when it comes to skiing, when it comes to Sölden, of course, it also uh, is all about winning and it's all about racing. And uh, this is the chance to get uh, to know the athletes for us. So is there anything new in the Alpen roster for you? Did you change something? Is there anything uh, new you have to tell us? Uh, thank God we're in a situation that we don't need to change a lot. We're looking back to a very successful season and uh, I'm really happy uh, to tell you and everybody that uh, our athlete rooster is quite the same as last year. I mean, you will all see those athletes, uh, not only the Alpine, but also the athletes from the other playgrounds uh, coming up in the next one hour, one, two hours. Uh, so no big changes on the on the team side. We have some 
some young athletes coming in, uh, but on those top level, World Cup level, it's basically the same team and uh, really looking forward to watch them performing as they did last year. So no pressure on you, but I found some nice numbers. Last year we had uh, 31 race wins, six clubs, 11 different athletes on the Alpine podium. So uh, if you compare it to football, Atomic is like Bayern Munich or Real Madrid, you have to win. Is that also in a, in a reachable distance to win? Is that something you, you plan for next season? Oh, of course, that's, that's our target. It's always our target to get better. Uh, we never... Of course, we're satisfied with last season, but of course, we still want to get better. And with the athletes, with those athlete, athletes we have in our team, I think it's, uh, the target is clear. Uh, this was the most successful season last year, most wins of all times for Atomic on the Alpine side. And of course, we are looking for, forward to try to top this benchmark. Uh, and I'm very confident. Uh, I mean, if you look at those names, uh, beside all those records that have been set last year. I think uh, it's very, I'm very happy that it's not only about one or two names, but it's a very wide team, very uh, men, women, all disciplines. So really looking forward to every single race. Maybe a question to both of you. Is there someone in your team you would uh, place your money on or we should keep an eye on? Is there a, a hidden champion in your squad somewhere, Wolfgang and Christian? <laughs> no, I mean, that's, That's one of the good things about our team. It's not, it's not one, this one single person that, that is the one you put your money on. It's a whole team. And that's also one of, of part of our philosophy. We want to be competitive. We want to be uh, in a position to possibly win every race in every discipline, men and women. And that's also one of our strengths, I think. Uh, we started this media day last evening uh, with a really nice athlete dinner. And you could see also the athletes feel Uh, as a team, everybody uh, was talking to each other, everybody was uh, having fun. So, and that's, I think, that's also one of the secrets behind Team Atomic that those athletes feel that they are part of the family and part as a team. Wolfgang? Uh, if, if I may add one thing which, uh, which comes, into my, uh, comes into my mind is uh, I think greatest of all time is a big thing. Um, and you see that from, in other sports. I think Michaela Schifrin is uh, with uh, breaking that record last year. That was sensational. Makes me very confident for the upcoming season. Uh, she will not stop there. Uh, but we take that also. My point is more, you know, this greatest of all time. You know, we as a ski brand, as a, uh, as a business, you know, we are orient orientating ourselves Uh, very often to the athletes and we do, to benchmarking, you know, we want to win, we want to be on the podium in business with our brand and uh, Michaela is, is an icon, you know, and uh, if you think back, I don't know who saw the, the late night show, Jimmy Fallon late, late night show uh, in US, I mean, that was sensational, the coverage, like 18 million, 18 million. How, he, how she sold the sport there, the skiing there, that's impressive. And I think she did a, a great move for the whole skiing uh, uh, in, uh, industry, but, but also community. And this is uh, sensational. We are super happy to have her, of course. And she will be here today, of yeah, course. Super. Thank you for the introduction, Wolfgang and Christian. I think we can start with the athletes right now. Thank you so much. Round of applause for the two hosts of this Media Day 2023.